Welcome to our third video on uh, farming fabrics. This video is a suitable tutorial machine. This video is suitable tutorial material for the uh, level three technical certificate. In this tutorial, we're talking about cleaning your farming fabrics. Typically, farming fabrics are cleaned either physically with high pressure needle jets or they're cleaned with chemicals. And typically, um, if the equipment needs uh, acid cleaning, we tend to use hydrochloric acid as a cleaning material. If it needs alkaline treatment, then we use sodium hydroxide or maybe sodium carbonate. And in some cases, we have to use solvents, something like paraffins, but you've got to be extremely careful with uh, solvents because of the uh, volatile organic carbon and the content. <clears throat> So, cleaning showers. Cleaning showers are very important. Physical removal of fibres and filler particles and other debris is, a, is the easiest and safest way of cleaning wires. So we have the typical fodder in your layout there, horizontal wire. Once the sheet has been taken off the wire, then in this bottom part that we rarely think about or see, this is where we're in the cleaning regime. Very commonly there will be uh, a shower here and the idea of this shower here is that it's a flooding shower really um, and you can use it to backwash the wire. In this particular configuration we go over the first return row here and we have a cleaning shower that may well be something like a high pressure needle jet but in some operations we also have a roll here, and this one we call the wash roll. And we tend to use this as a flooded nip. So we'll put some low pressure water into this area. As it goes through the nip, it will push it through the wire and it will backwash the wire of uh, fines and fibres that have got stuck there. Uh, we then may have some uh, vacuum type devices for removing um, debris and then return to the horizontal. If we're looking at showers, then it's important that you're able to reproduce this sort of diagram in an exam. Originally, we had needle jets operating in this fan setup. And it's pretty obvious, you can see the problem here. If any of these nozzles gets blocked up, then there's an area of the farming fabric that doesn't get cleaned. And so we build into this configuration a redundancy. So now as you can see here, this was the original configuration with the uh, red triangles. And now by putting these other showers in, if any one shower gets blocked, then the area is covered. If you want a belt and braces type approach, we now have double redundancy. So we have the original show a system here with the revs. If that stopped, we would lose this. So now we cover two thirds of that shower area with a second shower, and we cover one third of that with a third shower. So now we have double redundancy. Two showers can fail next to each other, and we still get good coverage of uh, all the farming fabric. So, quick summary of what we've learned in this tutorial. Mills often cycle between acids, bases and solvents for cleaning. So the first time you'll put on some uh, acid showers, next time you have a shutdown you'll put on some alkaline showers, next time you have a shutdown you'll put on some solvent showers and then back to acid again. Mills tend to use a mixture of different types of shower. They will use flooding showers, they will use high pressure needle jets and they will also use chemical showers. And finally, high pressure showers usually have an overlap pattern built into them so that shower blockages does not affect cleaning. Uh, the modern patterns provide for either single redundancy or double redundancy. Thank you for listening to this tutorial on uh, fabric cleaning and I hope you enjoy all my other videos.